Well, you will see a lot of pink this month. It is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Many millions of women will learn this year that they have breast cancer. Kelly Raymond is one of those people. She's here this morning with Dr. Rocco Piazza, plastic surgeon with the Piazza Center. Thank you guys for being here this morning. Thank you. Good for to see us. you. Well, you just learned this year that you had breast cancer. Tell me about how you found out. Um, well, I had a teacher on my campus that came and, you know, told me about her diagnosis and it just kind of created an awareness and I was in the shower and did a self-check and found the lump and knew that my annual appointment was coming up so I didn't rush into anything but yeah. um, did follow up and go to my doctor and had my first mammogram and it was confirmed. And you were in your 30s. Did you expect that this would affect you? Never. Yeah. Never. Um, you know, I was young. I'm a runner. Eat healthy. Never yeah. thought that didn't really have any risk factors except my dad's sister had breast cancer. Wow. And is that a misconception, Dr. Piazza, that women in their 30s can't get it? And especially if you're healthy, you eat well, you run and exercise? It seems like uh, we're seeing more uh, women that are younger diagnosed with breast cancer, women in their 30s. And not just here in Austin, but all across our country and across the world. Uh, so it's, it's not uncommon, and it's important that women really do uh, have a screening mammogram, first one probably at 35, and then a yearly mammogram starting at age 40 and thereafter. And monthly self-breast exams are important to do, and that's how Kelly discovered her uh, area that was of concern. Yeah, and I imagine that just from the women that I know that have had breast cancer, I imagine the mastectomy is just as emotional as learning that you have breast cancer because you're losing part of your womanhood, I would imagine. Yeah, it was it was rough, but um, I don't know. It was so fast and furious as far as how you're kind of dealing with all the emotions of having breast cancer. It didn't really. I just felt confident in my doctors. They gave me all the options. I had no idea how many options there are, and yeah. so you know, I felt confident in them and their advice. What should women consider if they're going through this and having to have reconstructive surgery? What should they What should they know? I think it's important that patients that are diagnosed with breast cancer meet uh, their plastic surgeon in the first few weeks after diagnosis. And the reason for that is, is that there are a number of different options that are available for reconstruction. And p these patients need to know what those options are. Options can be uh, anywhere from just an implant type reconstruction <clears throat> or uh, using the patient's own tissue to reconstruct the breast or even a combination of both and knowing those options knowing the patient's lifestyle uh, what they're you know how active they are and those are all things that are very very valuable in helping to make a decision talk about just this experience since May until now I mean you look great and you look well and healthy but talk about just the emotional part of the experience I mean every step of the way well I um have just kept a clear mind and have taken notes on everything with every doctor. It's been important to, like Dr. Piazza said, to meet with all your doctors before you start the process of, of healing, but um, it hasn't been too bad. I've learned a lot very quickly about about a lot. <laughs> yeah. Well, I guess you have to, mm -hmm. to make sure that you know, it doesn't spread and, and that you've caught it in time. Well, you guys have a spa day coming up that is on October 19th. It's the Breast Cancer Awareness Month Pink Day Spa Day. It's going to be at Seton Southwest. With the Piazza Center is located inside Seton Southwest. There, if you need more information, go to their website, thepiazzacenter.com. Thank you guys for being here this morning. Thank and you. congratulations on your survival. Thank you. Yeah, you're a testimony. Thank, Thank you. you. Good to see you, Great Dr. Great to Piazza. see you as well.